integrals. Find integral 1 to 2, 1 by square root of x minus 1 into 2 minus x dx. So, we have to find the value of this definite integral, that is integral with limit, that is 1 to 2, 1 by square root of x minus 1 into 2 minus x dx. So, this is a quite easy problem. Okay. We have to make some rearrangements in the denominator to make this function into an integrable format. After that, we have to apply the limits of the integration. At this, we have to rearrange this denominator in the integrable form. Next, we have to find the value of integral. And in third step, we have to apply the limit. This is our procedure. So, let us take this. That is, on expanding this, that is, x minus 1 into 2 minus x, we will get x square minus 3x plus 2 into a negative term outside. How, it is, how we are getting this? That is, x into x is minus x square. Okay. Then, since we take negative, we will get x square here. x into 2 is 2x. Minus 1 into minus x is plus x, that is, 3x. Since we take negative outside, we will get minus 3x here. Minus 1 into 2 gives minus 2. Since we take negative outside, we will get 2 here. That is, we get x square minus 3x plus 2. Why we put negative to the outside? Since we need the term of x, that is the coefficient of x square, a positive term. Okay, why we, have, we need this as a positive term? Because we have to apply our completing the square method here. Okay, so to apply the completing the square method, what we need? We need the coefficient or the middle term of this quadratic polynomial or the first quadratic term. That is, what is the middle term? That is minus 3 or positive 3. We can choose 3 itself. Then we have to take half of it, that is 3 by 2. Then we have to add square of 3 by 2 and subtract square of 3 by 2. That is the completing square method. That is, we have to choose what is half of this midterm and we have to add square of that and we have to subtract square of that. Since minus 3 square is 3, so you can choose 3 itself here. That is, Choosing half of this, we have to add square of that, subtract square of that. Okay, this is our new form of our denominator. What we have to do next? Then, what is this? All next, all making it short, what we will get here, that is x square minus 3x plus 3 by 2, can be rewritten as x minus 3 by 2 whole square. Okay. Before that, we are making this term short, that is, minus 3 by 2 whole square plus 2 will become minus 1 by 4, that is, minus 3 by 2 whole square is 9 by 4. On adding with 2, we will get minus 1 by 4, that is, minus 9 by 4 into 2, that is, minus 9 plus 8 is minus 1 by 4. To make this term, short, take x minus 3 by 2 whole square. Okay. That is, on expansion, we will get this term itself. That is, we get a minus 1 by 4 here. Here, this term. Now, we can take this negative to inside. Then, we will get minus of minus 1 by 4 is plus 1 by 4. That is 1 by 2 whole square. Minus of this term is x minus of x minus 3 by 2 whole square dx. Okay. This is our simplified form of this. Not simplified form. It is uh, the form of the integral, the denominator into an integrable form. How we can integrate this denominator then? By using this formula for integration that is 1 by 
square root of a square minus x square d is equal to sine inverse of x by a. Here a equal to 1 by 2 x square is x minus 3 by 2 whole square. Now by applying this formula, what will we get? Sine inverse of x minus 3 by 2 whole divided by 1 by 2. Now after the applying limit, we will get so oh, this is our value of integral. Next step we have to apply limit. On applying limit, we will get sine inverse of 2 at first, that is 2 minus 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. What is 2 minus 3 by 2? 4. 4 minus 3, 4 divided by 2, that is 1 by 2. Then applying 1, on applying 1, we will get minus half. Okay, that is sine inverse of 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 minus sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 by 1 by 2. Now, cancelling 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, we will get 1. Here also, negative 1. What is sine inverse of 1? Pi by 2. Here, negative of pi by 2. Then, on adding negative pi by 2 minus of minus pi by 2, we will get pi as our limit of integration. Sorry as our result of integration or as a result of integration we will get pi here so this just we have to apply completing square method to find the value of this integral